All right, today we're working on a MacBook Air, 3437 board with no backlight. It's one of the more recent ones. Uh, let me go over what I did here. Honest, I'm a little dizzy because I've spent the last six hours in the microscope, and also some of it was done at 20x. I hate using the 20x lenses because they have... It's like looking through a fucking keyhole. Honestly, I don't have enough experience with microscopes to know if that's all of them, or if mine just sucks, but when I changed the 10x lens to a 20... Let me see if I can show you here. So this is the 10x lens here. It has you know, a nice big keyhole. And then you have these 20x lenses. Uh, I don't feel like taking it out of the bag, but let's see. So, and you get this. So, let's right, zoom out. So look, large people, tiny people. And when you're looking through this, not only is it is it kind of more painful because it's 20x, but when you're looking through this thing, it's like, uh, it's like you, as the sales guy here said, it, it's like you're trying to look through a keyhole. It's, it's a joke. And it really gives you a headache after a while. So I have a raging one right now. All right, so let's go over what we did to this. The first thing I noticed is that the LVDS was completely sodomized. Pins missing, pads missing. I soldered a new one, no backlight. And the fuse was not blown, which is good. I had 8 to 12 volts at the fuse. And I also had a measurement of 0.541 on diode mode with my multimeter. So let's check this out right here. Let me show you what I mean. So that's the multimeter. We have went over diode mode in previous videos. Diode mode is different than resistance. Similar but different. It measures the voltage drop in the circuit. So I put the positive lead on ground. I'm going to put this down for this shit so that I can actually work. Uh, okay, come on camera. By the way, if you're tired of these videos looking like shit, you're welcome to reply to my other video and help me pick out a new setup. Because this will be for you. So I put... And the measurement you should get with anything based on an LP8550 is something like this. I'm going to try to hold this like chopsticks. This. 0.531. Or this honestly is fine. Fucking fine. I had 0 0.545, 0 0.541. 0 0.541, or something like, like that. And what that indicates is that there isn't as much going to ground. Now, the LP8550 being an amplifier circuit obviously has some connection to ground. So that would mean that there is a connection missing somewhere in the output going to something that would be going to ground. Now, what could that be? Let's look here. What's after the output? We have these capacitors going to ground, and those, those never fail. And then we have this little feedback circuit here. Pip Vout Su LCD Biclet Fub, which is P is the LCD backlight output feedback. Now most amplifiers have feedback. It tells them what they're doing. So after they've done the actual application, so here's the 12 volts that comes in. Here is it getting combined with something from the amplifier, the LP8550 amplifier. And here is the point where it gets bigger. So over there, there's a feedback line. Now what feedback does is it tells the amp what it's doing. So in audio amplifiers, a lot of them use something called negative feedback, which is where the amplifier will adjust what it's doing to the input signal based on the output. So what it does is it compares the output to the input signal. Of course, it nerfs the output signal down a little so it'll match the input that's not amplified. And then it modifies the input signal a little bit to try to remove the distortion in real time. And there are all these raging wars out there as to whether that's a good way to combat distortion, whether it's not a good way to combat distortion. And there's this little guy who's a figure, he looks like, he looks like Mr. Mixel Pitnick from, uh, from Superman, that has an entire company based on the idea of no, no feed, negative feedback in his amplifiers. And they actually sound pretty good, although they're expensive. And I'm getting way off topic here. Um, so most amplifiers have a feedback circuit, and so does this one. So what after the amplifier could possibly go to ground that's missing? Because remember, the, the measurement I'm supposed to get is 0.531, and the measurement I am getting is 0.541. What that means is that there is not as much of a voltage drop as there was before between the amplifier and ground. So it's this. Obviously, it's this. This is the only thing left. So what I did is I decided to try to measure from this diode or the, any of these capacitors here to this pad on the after I removed the LP8550. And there was nothing there. The, there was no continuity. So this, which is supposed to connect to this, 
was not connecting to that. And that happens a lot of the time, because this is, as you can see right after the amplifier circuit, this is the first thing in line, which so it's often the first thing to get fucked. It's a tiny little board trace, and it's, it's easy for it to get fucked. So you're not gonna fuck any of these big capacitors, but you are getting, gonna fuck this board trace. And by the way, if the voltage that went through here was enough that it sodomized the LVDS pins, if it went through here and, and burned metal, you can bet your ass it probably burned that little board trace. So here's what I did. Now, I don't want to solder a wire under a BGA uh, under a BGA chipset because that's that's not fun. Uh, that's that's not fun in the least. But luckily, on this board, there is a probe point. Let me see. Try to zoom in on that again. If you want a better camera, please go over to the other video and recommend what I should get because I'm not spending money until I'm absolutely satisfied. But I'm gonna get something cool. Let's turn the light on here. I have this little LED light for the camera. That'll make this better view, hopefully. I also have to clean the flux off this. Let me do that so you can get a better view. Some alcohol. My alcohol bin is almost empty. Let's pour it on here. Alright. Brush. Okay. Eh, still looks like shit. Oh well. So this is the diode. This is this is this. See, this is where. So this is after the amplification. Too much light. Let me get away a little. Now, luckily, there is a probe point right here, and that is for. The, the feedback. So what I did is I beeped that probe point, uh, when I say beep I mean continuity test on my multimeter, I beeped that probe point to the feedback pad on the bottom of the board where the LP8550 is. So here's the LP8550. And... No, that's not the... Here is the LP8550. There's a resistor that goes to the SMC that I knocked off that I have to replace, but I don't really care about that right now because my backlight actually works. But anyway, so this is the LP8550, and on the bottom right there is a pad on the bottom of the chip for feedback. So what I did is I used a continuity test on my multimeter, and I beeped that to that pad, and it worked. So what that means is that instead of having to run a wire around the board, torture myself to get my feedback working, all I did is I put a wire between the output of the amplifier and that probe point, because that probe point is going to feedback on the, um, on the LP8550 amp chip. After I did that, my measurement read fine. I got the 0 0.526, 528 that you saw before, but I still had no backlight because the pads that I thought were good were not good and also the trace is going to them were fucked to shit. So that's here. So I put this nasty looking wire here to see if that would fix it and it did fix it. And this is, this is by the way, a shitty way to put the fucking wire because it's, it's, it's as I move it, See, I bent it over here so that when I move it back and forth, it moves it at the bend point and not at the point that is soldered to the pins in the chip. See how I, I bent it over there? I, crimp, I crimped it kind of with my nail so that when it moves back and forth, it's not moving the pads at least. But still, this is a fucked up way to do it. You have to run the wire flat on the board. But yeah, I put that wire there and then my backlight actually worked. Uh, I am going to come in tomorrow when I'm not dizzy and put a nice neat wire there instead of this, you know, LVDS cable horse shit. And I'll cortical coat it up so that, you know, it looks nice and stays there. But that's just for testing. And I have a minute left on my SD card, so I don't have time to keep talking anymore. Hopefully this was helpful to you. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Feel free to type them. Uh, do not feel free to call if you call me and I interrupt what I'm doing uh, in my paying work or my staff gets their paying work interrupted for you to ask what's the best way to solder a BGA backlight AC? We will rage and probably hang up on you. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for viewing.